Hey, welcome to another episode of BeersAndBars.com. I'm Ed. I'm here in Texas for the big USC versus Alabama game. So it's Fight On versus Roll Tide. Here's going for the USC Fight On Southern Cal. Hope we got this one. I think we do. I think we're going to surprise the world. But another good thing about being here in Texas is I'm trying a lot of good beers. Uh, been here since Thursday. Been to a couple places. Tried a lot of craft beer. Uh, it's been very enjoyable. I've enjoyed everything I've tasted. I've had uh, stuff by uh, Revolver Brewing out here. I've had stuff by St. Arnold Brewing Company, Franconia Brewing Company, uh, Rio Ale Brewing Company. Uh, had the old school uh, right here uh, from Shiner Bach. What was surprising is I had tried uh, different Shiners out there, and I thought I had tried Shiner Bach, but I guess I never had, so I was really surprised when I checked untapped and I hadn't tried the Shiner Bach. I enjoyed it. Uh, Lakewood Brewing Company was out here. I tried that and uh, also tried my first day, which so far is my favorite beer. I tried the Mosaic IPA by Community Beer Company, which was uh, very pleasant. I really enjoyed it. Today, what I'm bringing you is we're going we're gonna to be talking about Tejas Clara, and this is by Big Ben Brewing. And what really uh, stood out to me, the reason I really wanted to do a review on this is uh, this is on the Mexican style type cerveza, uh, that Czech style pil pilsner that we really that I really enjoy. It's really weird that I have two, uh, I have a wide array of beers that I like. I I really like the IPAs, the bitter beer, but I also love the the Mexican style lagers, pilsners, that are really complement the food. If you've noticed me or you see my other reviews, I've done a lot of Mexican beers. Now, while this is from Big Ben Brewing, so it's not. Mexican beer, but it's in that Mexican style type beer uh, with those uh, that Czech Pilsner type. So I, I really wanted to jump at this, so I really wanted to try it. So let's jump into it. Tejas Clara here in Dallas, Texas. Using a hotel cup, so excuse me. It's not an OG beer cup, but hey, you got to use what you got. All right, well, it's a typical lager pilsner. It's clear, has a little carbonation in there. A little bit of head, but I guess that depends on the pour. But it was a, yeah, I wouldn't expect a lot of head from uh, this type of beer, this style. has a real smooth taste and basically what the description on the can says it's a it's a, there's two type of seasons in Texas it's summer and not summer and so lager lagers are really refreshing um, they're really they're really good when they're really cold and they basically complement the food that you're eating so they don't take away from the food they complement from it and that's why I think lagers are real popular in Mexico and those uh, states that are near Mexico, um, especially uh, California where I'm from and Texas down here because I drank a couple couple lagers like uh, I drank Lone Star and obviously Shiner um, and they're all very good and I think because they, they complement the food. Down here in Texas, uh, I've been here in Dallas for a few days, uh, nice people, nice area. Uh, you got a lot of open space, so I'm sure you're going to bring a lot of people over here and build a lot of houses, and it's going to be pretty packed like Cali is. Uh, but other than that, I was really excited to try another beer. And before I leave, I also picked up this sucker. It's the Texas Ale Project. It's a 50-foot Jackrabbit IPA, and that one was really good. Uh, but all the beers I've tried here in Texas have been great. Uh, so when you're ever down here, and what's beautiful about this craft beer revolution is that wherever you go, you're always going to find a local beer, local craft brewery that you can't find in your area, but definitely tastes great. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed another episode of BeersAndBars.com. And if you haven't done so already, have a great beer and fight on.